spring. They're loaded with preservatives. Good. From kids' books to feature films, dinosaurs have captured the imaginations of generations. So this is big. The Carnegie Museum's long-awaited Dinosaurs in Their Time is opening next week, but we got a sneak peek today, and Mary Rob Jackson was there. Mary Rob. Ken, it is likely to be the hottest ticket in town, and this is just phase one. You will need a ticket to see the dinosaurs in their new digs, but more about that a little later. A lost world found, 165 million years of dinosaur history, towering, terrible lizards surrounded by state-of-the-art information technology. Pittsburgh is not your quintessential tourist uh, destination, but having the best dinosaur exhibit on the face of the planet. Most of the freestanding dinosaurs are original fossilized bones. Most museums simply don't have real dinosaur specimens. A patasaurus whips her tail at a charging raptor-like allosaurus. Even more startling, these very creatures may have had a run-in back in the day. These dinosaurs would have actually lived together. Uh, these two here, Allosaurus and Apatosaurus, actually come from the same hole in the ground. $36 million have created a three-story atrium setting and adjoining halls for dinosaurs in their time. Basically, you're walking into a scene that's meant to be a snapshot in time 150 million years ago. Touchscreen showcase an explosion in scientific thought about dinosaurs gathered over the past 100 years and also allow for the latest discoveries. With the touch screens, we can update things immediately as soon as science happens. These vivid murals have already won an international prize for their lifelike accuracy. These are the most scientifically accurate reconstructions of the animals that we know of as of today. You know, things do change in paleontology. It was in 1898 that Andrew Carnegie launched his museum's first dinosaur hunt. They bagged the Diplodocus in Wyoming. At 89 feet from tip to tail, Dippy is still the longest complete dinosaur specimen in captivity. In phase one of the exhibit, Dippy and others from the Triassic and Jurassic periods, as well as the Cretaceous Seaway, have been cleaned and remounted. Restorers have also turned previously two-dimensional dinosaurs like the duck-billed Corythosaurus into three-dimensional exhibits, painstakingly freeing them from the rock they were buried in. It's all here and may just be one of the greatest shows unearthed. It's not just kids. Uh, I've met 65-year-olds that are desperate to come and see our dinosaurs too, so I know it's going to be something really big. Dr. Beard is right. It is for kids of all ages. Tickets are $15 for adults, $11 for children, and there are senior and student discounts. But all of that covers admission to both museums, natural history and art, as well as timed entry for those dinosaurs because of the expected crowds. You can do it all online. Check out our website at kdka.com. Mary Rob Jackson, KDKA TV News. Uh, sounds great. Yeah, Thank you, Mary looks Rob. Looks great, yeah. I can't wait to see it. From